Hello everyone. In this demo, I am going to explain one of the capability of ArcGIS Learn Python module that allows a user to georeference and digitize a scanned map. Here, a scanned map can be referred to any digital or scanned copy of a scientific paper map. And digitization is a process of assigning the real world coordinate to the pixel of scanned map and converting the data into a digital format such as shape file that can be directly used with ArcGIS Pro tool. Using this functionality, we can automate the process of digitization and georeferencing for lots of scanned map at once. So we have collected a set of scanned map. As we can see a sample here, we will be using these images for digitization and will visualize inside the ArcGIS Pro tool. But before that, let us understand how scanned map digitizer works. So we have divided the entire approach into six different steps. So the very first step is create mask. In this step, we extract the color region from the scanned map and we are calling it as region binary mask. The second step is create template image. In this step, we extract the land region from the scanned map. The land region consists of the colored region and the land area. The next step is to prepare the search region. This is the region on which we will find the binary template. This search region should also contain the extent that we will be using for georeferencing and digitizing the image in the further steps. So once we have the output from create template image and prepare search region, we use mesh template multiscale to locate the binary template on the search region. After that, we apply some transformation and also compute the real world coordinate with the help of georeference image API, which generates the transformed image with the coordinate file and that can be directly used with the ArcGIS Pro tool. Similarly, we use digitize image for generating a shape file that is used to locate the scanned map on the uh, search region. So now let's look at the Python implementation of the workflow. So the very first step is to import the scanned map digitizer class from the ArcGIS Learn module. And then we initialize the object with these two parameters. Input folder, this is the path of the folder that contains the scanned images and output folder this is the path of the folder where we will keep the intermediate results and the final output so once the object is initialized we use create mask in function to generate the binary mask for the colored region so the very first parameter used here is color list as a scanned map can contain multiple color trees and the user can pass multiple color as a list and then we extract the region binary mask for that particular color then color delta, kernel size and kernel type are the parameters that are used for morphological operation and a user can tweak this parameter to get the better results. So here is an example how different kernel size is getting different and better results. Then uh, we move to create template image. This function is used to extract the land region from the scanned map. So again here we pass the land color so that we can create a binary template for that and color delta and kernel size again are used for morphological operation for the better results. Then in the next step we prepare the search region and the search region is nothing but a bigger image onto which we will find the scanned image. So the uh, very first parameter used here is search image. This is the path of the image and it can be a shape file also. So the next parameter is extent. So we, we ask a user to enter the extent of the search region so that we can use this extent in georeferencing and digitizing the image. Then color, image height and image width are some other parameters that are used to prepare the search region. So once we have prepared the search region, mesh template multiscale is used to locate the search template on search region using template matching. We are calling it as multiscale because we use different scale of search region as the task of template matching is not scale invariant and the user can use min scale, max scale and num scale parameter to generate different scale of the search region. So the output of this function is the location of the scanned map on the bigger image with some accuracy. So the next function in the pipeline is georeference image. This 
method finds a control point on both binary template and search region using output from the previous step. The control point then get filter and outlier are removed to locate the scan map on the search region. Padding param parameter helps in computing the transformation for georeferencing of image. So the output of this function is a transformed image with an XML file that contains the coordinate of the transformed image and we can visualize the image just by dragging it inside the ArcGIS Pro tool. Here we can see how the image is applied to its original geographical location on the map. The final step in the pipeline is digitize image which maps the colored region onto the world map. It also generates a shape file that can be visualized using ArcGIS Pro tool and can be further edited. So this workflow explains how we can digitize the scan map image. Also if we have a set of scan maps, we can use the same workflow to digitize all of them at once. Digitize image function is capable of generating a combined shape file for all of the scan maps. So we have a set of scanned images. Now I have used a similar approach to generate a combined shape file for that and we can visualize it using ArcGIS Pro. Also I have prepared a 3D scene to visualize the species region. Here are a few examples of these. So this was the demo that explained how scan map can be automatically georeferenced and digitized. Thank you.